Hello everybody, my name is Jacob from Children's Museum Houston. Welcome back to another Educator Moment, sponsored today by Chevron. I'm here in the Chevron Maker Annex, where we do all sorts of cool engineering activities. So today what we're going to do is we're going to engineer a ball and cup game. And so what we're going to do is we're gonna need to gather first our materials. Um, so we're gonna start with a cup of some kind. So I have this nice little three ounce cup, a ping pong ball, a chopstick, some string, and you could either, you, you're gonna need some tape for sure, but I'm also gonna use these foam beads to help keep some stuff in place. If you don't have anything like this, um, you can just use tape in place of that when I get to that point. And finally, some scissors to help cut some of our objects. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create the cup part of the game. So what you can do is take the scissors and take the cup, and you're going to want to just kind of poke a hole. That might be a little bit too big. It'll be fine for now, but you want just a small hole at the bottom of the cup because that is where your chopstick is going to go in. And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to go ahead and put one of the foam beads on my chopstick. You don't have to do this if you don't have something that works like this. Um, then I'm going to put the chopstick through that hole that I cut and put the other foam bead on top. If you don't have the foam beads, this is where if you just put the chopstick through, you could instead just use the tape and tape the bottom and top of the chopstick all around and make sure it's nice and connected to the cup. What you want in the end is a cup on the end of a stick that if you start going like that, is not going to fly away from you. You want it stuck on the end of this stick. So we're halfway there already, pretty quick. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna take a little bit of string, I'd say about half and half a foot, Anywhere from four to six inches would be fine. I'm gonna do right there. And now we're going to take some tape and we're gonna tape one end of the string to the inside of the cup. So one end of the string to the inside of the cup. I'm just taping it kind of to the side so you can see right there. It's just kind of to the side of the inside of the cup. All right. Last thing, very simple, other end of the string, tape it to your ping pong ball. Or if you don't have a ping pong ball, any other small ball that you decided to use. The only criteria is that whatever cup you choose and whatever ball you choose, the ball needs to be able to fit into the cup. And really, you want the cup not to be too big that the ball really fits in there. You want it to be kind of a challenge. So once everything is taped, you can start playing your ball and cup game. And the object of the game is to get the ball into the cup. Ah! Got it! All right, thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time. Again, this was an Educator Moment sponsored by Chevron. Bye, everybody!